Hello everybody, my name is Chris Shadogs, the World Bob Bill for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update. Now, this isn't news specifically, however, this is something I wanted to do for a good couple of weeks or so, and it's a video that was requested by a fan of the channel called Thorax Changeling on YouTube, so big thank you to you for requesting this video. This is the Future of Toverland discussion video, so I'm going to be talking to you about my theories, my thoughts, uh, what do I think is going to happen. Uh, I'm not going to give you a time frame of when these things are going to happen, because I have absolutely no idea. We've had no hints, no rumours, no speculation from this park about anything else, so... Uh, you know, I, I, it's just based on what I think could happen with this park. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share with your friends, family, and on social media. Make sure you also get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A, which will be released a couple of weeks after I hit that milestone. I'm going to be doing it on Instagram very soon as well. And for now, guys, let's get straight into this video. So, Toverland is a magical theme park located in Europe. Uh, and basically, this contains five roller coasters already. So, you've got Troy, uh, which is your, your wooden coaster. You've got Phoenix, which is the Bologna Mabial wing coaster. You've got the Toon Express, which is your Vekoma Junior coaster. You've got Booster Bike, which is your Vekoma Motorbike launch coaster. And you've also got Dwarvel Win, which is your max spinning roller coaster. Now, they did have a previous coaster called the Wildermorse, uh, but that was removed in the park's history. And basically, yeah, this is all about sort of discussing uh, future roller coasters, any future attractions. Now, the only thing we can take from the future of Toverland is I saw on their um, on their website that they dream to have at least 1 million guests by 2020 and they're looking they're not confirmed but they're looking and this has been on the radar for a couple of years now to put a four star hotel next to the theme park so I think that a hotel is definitely going to happen in the next couple of years uh, I think that um, that is what we're looking at here uh, now as well as a hotel uh, it's all about speculating what I think could happen with the park. So I'm going to put some, uh, well, the first of our coaster sites, potential coaster sites, on your screen now. Find out with Now that, my friends, is an official um, sort of um, side gate uh, potential expansion uh, onto the Port Laguna entrance plaza. Now, you've got to think... Uh, about space. Now I know the image doesn't show much around the back. However, there is a lot of space at the back. So, uh, but I think, judge, but from that, I think that's what we're realistically looking at in terms of size of expansion for that area. So, you can see you can use the gate uh, next to the toilet sign uh, on this map, which is fish from the website uh, for Toverland. Um, you can see that's pretty much the size of what kind of expansion we'd be looking at. Now, in terms of roller coasters. I'm not sure what kind of coaster we'd be looking at here. Obviously, uh, you've got a woody, so a wooden coaster is absolutely fine. That's all sorted. Uh, you've got a booster bike launch coaster, as well as a junior coaster from Vacoma. Uh, so you've got uh, a, a good family coaster, and you've also, well, a junior coaster, and you've also got a launch coaster of some kind, a variation of a launch coaster, which is, again, something good for the park. Uh, Phoenix, of course, is the wing coaster, so they've got a thrilling wing coaster, and they've got a family spinning coaster. Now, one thing that they don't have, which I picked out from that lineup, is a family coaster that's more family thrill than family junior. Now, they've got the junior coaster indoors, but they haven't got an outdoor family thrill coaster. Now, something like a 13 at Alton Towers or a Bolton by Ziera over at Bush Gardens Williamsburg would be perfect for this park. Um, Toverland has been an evolution park. I think they've been growing uh, year upon year. I think they've been improving year upon year, and I think they've been focusing really good on the theming of the of the of the park and the whole landscape of the whole areas. So, you know, especially with the recent additions of the Avion area and Port Laguna. Uh, and things like that. I think they can really build upon that and create a brand new aisle off the uh, off the edge of Port Laguna uh, and create this family thrill coaster with a track drop element and possibly a couple of launches as well. So they've got a family launch coaster as well as a thrilling one like the booster bike. I know the booster bike doesn't have really any versions, but I do feel as if um, you know a family thrill launch coaster with a track drop element would be great. And you look at what Toverland's done with story and theming. Um, 
you know, there's real potential there to put a good story to it and have that track drop element intertwined with the story. Uh, you look at 13 with the Dark Forest and how the track drop intertwines with the story and the Bolton going through the Black Forest to coincidentally the show building, as they call it. Um, and having that track drop as you go through the Black Forest and the whole German folklore around that story. So, you know, Town of London got a real opportunity here to decide to go with this type of coaster. I think another type of coaster, if you were gonna, if you were gonna go for a more extreme coaster, I think B&M would be a good point of call. However, I think a manufacturer that Tovaland hasn't used yet for a coaster that would be really cool is Mac Wright. Now, uh, Mac do some fantastic launch coasters. Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Helix at Leesburg, Star Trek Operation Enterprise at Movie Park Germany. I uh, got one coming to Australia for Dream World Australia in 2020, so that's another great one to use as an example. So I think that a Mac launch coaster or a multi-launch coaster, like a Taran maybe with no inversions, would be perfect. For Toverland's market, a Taran, uh, you know, with no no no, no inversions, uh, but just focused on rapid speed turns and um, like a couple of high turns, but very low to the ground and very quick. Uh, and you can do some fantastic rock work like Fantasyland's done with Taran. So I feel like there's a real potential there for Toverland to go on the thrill market, and I think a Matt Launch Curse would be perfect for their thrill market. If they were to go for a b and I could see a b and dive at this park. I think a b and dive would be perfect. Uh, overlooking Phoenix from the other side of the aisles. You know, I think that a dive coast would be a great way to, um, to express the park's uh, beauty. Uh, and landscaping. I think that with the landscape and as well from the site that they could use with that site that you saw on screen, uh, I feel like a dive coaster would be perfect. So I think that a dive coaster or a mat launch coaster or a 13 type track drop family coaster by Intamin, again another manufacturer that uh, they haven't used for a coaster yet, Toverland. Um, you know, three good options from different varies of target markets. And I think that each option would be great in its own way. Obviously, it would have its downfalls and its cons, you know, budgets, etc. But I think Toverland could pull them all. But all of them could be pulled off at Toverland in their own different wipes. So I think that's just three options just to bear in mind. Now, site number two on your screen now, Fandabudo. So you can see that's rather a more thin site. Now I don't think this would be in a new land expansion. If it was the if it was going to be a new land expansion, I would suspect some family rides and do like a whole family area. Uh, but I think in terms of roller coasters for that site, you'd be seeing an expansion of the Avion area. Now you look at the Avion area already. You've got your normal facilities, but you've got your two main attractions. You've got your boat ride, your tow boat ride, Merlin's Quest, and you've got your B&M Wing Coaster Phoenix. Now one massive attraction I could see at this site. Um, you know, build its own lake um, on it as well. You can dig deep, build the lake, and build the coaster on top of it. You guys know where I'm going with this. Again, Matt rides. It is a power splash. I think a power splash would be perfect for this. Obviously, again, like I said, the image doesn't stretch as far back, so there's plenty of expansion room at the back. But I think that a Matt power splash behind uh, Phoenix maybe giving off a splash element would be fantastic, absolutely fantastic. If it wasn't a power splash, I think they could go along with another manufacturer they haven't yet used for a roller coaster, um, Premier Rides, and I think they could go for uh, a, uh, one of their Sky Loops, one of their, um, one of their Premier Rides Skyrocket 2 coasters, not Sky Loops, Sky Rockets, uh, like Superman, Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, the zombie ride in a, a Bosquia Mexico, I think it's pronounced. Um, it's a park in Mexico. Um, Electric Eel at SeaWorld San Diego more recently as well. So there's plenty of these Skyrocket 2s out there. Obviously, they've done variations of a Skyrocket, like Skyrocket at Kennywood. Uh, and of course, Icebreaker is technically a premier ride Skyrocket model, an extended Skyrocket model that's coming into SeaWorld Orlando this year in 2020. Uh, so I think that a Skyrocket would be perfect for the part, whether it's a Skyrocket 2 or you could outstretch it and do an extended Skyrocket, like an Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando kind of route. Uh, so I think those two types of coasters, if I had to pick a third one to pick a top three for this site like I did for the first site again, if there was a top three, uh, I don't know, I think, I think personally I think they should either go with that Skyrocket 2 or a Mac Power Splash, but if I had to pick another option, 
uh, to potentially go for. Um, I probably, to be honest, I would probably go for um, a Mac Family Coaster. Now, again, it could intertwine with the supports of Phoenix. I think that uh, the landscaping, again, stretching further back, uh, would be a nice fit as well. So, I think there's, I think that's the more lenient of the options. I think it would be between the other two. Um, I wouldn't choose between the two because it's too hard. But comment down below what you guys think for those two sites, for both those sites. Uh, now, in terms of other attractions, I'm not too sure what they go with because uh, obviously Toveline is all about landscaping. It's all about making your park look beautiful as well as having the right ride lineup. So I think there's not many options. Obviously, they've got up to five water rides now, so water rides shouldn't be a problem. Flat rides, they've got a couple. Uh, but I'm not sure if another one would make sense, depending on the landscape. I mean, a good example for a flat ride, landscape ride, would be probably Mechanica at least, but which is Yara Starship. Uh, I thought that's a good landscaped themed flat ride. Uh, so I think that that's a potential option, a flat ride maybe, a couple of a couple of flat rides or a couple of family flat rides. Uh, an air race would work fantastically at the park, but paint it up nice, maybe give it like a dark foresty type vibe and get it nice and themed and get it all uh, in a good site. Obviously in terms of uh, other attractions being refurbished at the park, current attractions being refurbished, I think the only coaster I could see being rethemed or refurbished is Booster Bike because it kind of looks a bit out of place. Uh, and I don't want the, the ride to go, so I think retheme it. I know I did a, I think I did a video uh, about it before about booster bike. You know what would they retheme it to, and what kind of things could they retheme it to? Um, so I think a booster bike retheme should be on the cards, hopefully uh, in this decade uh, for Toverland. Fingers crossed. Um, now, of course, they have toned down the last couple of years. We know they had the brand new dart ride scene at the on the Phoenix ride, uh, just to make it that a little bit better themed. Uh, in 2019. 2020 they're sort of doing some events so again a very toned down year sort of uh, resting from the Pol Port Laguna Avion expansion uh, that happened way back in 2018. So uh, I think that the best route they can go down for a brand new coaster is probably 2022 uh, and sort of start construction back end of this year uh, going into 2021 kind of like Wickerman at Alton Towers you know it started uh, 2016 with the fences going up and then it was construction from winter 2016 2017 all the way through the 2017 season and of course I started testing it uh, start of 2018 and getting it ready for the opening in March so I think that we're looking at that kind of route in terms of construction time lapses if we're looking at a coaster at Toverland in the near future so uh, I think that's sort of my ideas comment down below what you guys think I want to see what you guys think and read every comment reply to every comment you know I do um, but yeah, that's my sort of thoughts on the future of Tova. Like we said, we already know there's pretty much going to be a four-star hotel coming in the future, which is an idea of when, uh, like they mentioned on the website. But I think that there's plenty more stuff that's still to be announced. And I think that Toveland have got some great projects lined up. I'm sure they've got some great projects lined up in the future. And I'm sure we're going to enjoy every single one of them. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you next YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep on the coast live. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.